Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video we're looking at what is a sortal, and looking at the distinction between phase sortals and substance sortals. Let's get going. So, as it was originally used by John Locke, sortals described the essence of a thing. But in modern usage, sortals more commonly used to talk about counting objects and determine how they can be distinguished from each other. How specific objects can be distinguished from each other. We're going to focus on this modern counting sortal version here. So a sortal is just a noun that allows us to individuate and count instances of that noun. A sortal is not too broad to individuate an object, such as thing, whatchamacallit, an object, wouldn't be sortals for this reason, because they're too broad. We don't have enough specifics to tell what exactly are you counting as a thing, or a whatchamacallit, or an object. Sortals are also countable, so that individual objects can be separated from other instances of those objects. Plastic, blue, nitrogen aren't really sortals for this reason. A plastic bag might be, a blue table or a nitrogen atom might be a sortal, but plastic, blue, and nitrogen are not sortals because they on their own don't distinguish specific instances. A noun like animal is going to be debated as an edge case of whether or not it's a sortal, since it's unclear if it's sufficiently specific, it would, if it would fall more into the category of thing and object, or more the category of dog and cat. So, let's look at the difference between sortals and non-sortals. So, sortals must be individuating. They must individuate an object. They must pick out one specific instance of something. Whereas non-sortals are non-individuating. Sortals must be specific. Non-sortals can be non-specific terms like an action, a place, or a thing. Note that we're saying the term action is not a sortal. The term place is not a sortal. The term thing is not a sortal. We're not saying that no actions, places, or things can be sortals distinction. That's why they're in single quotes, because we're talking about the term, not what that term refers to. Non-sortals can also be specific terms, but if they are, they're often uncountable, whereas sortals are countable. We might ask of a sortal how many, or we might ask of a non-sortal how much. Sortals might be referred to with fewer, whereas non-sortals would be referred to as less, Sortals would get be counted as things, whereas non-sortals would be stuff. Non-sortals might be characterizing terms like red, cold, or loud. Or material names like wood, butter, copper, soda, electricity, or hydrogen. Sortals, on the other hand, have to individuate, make something specific enough so it can be counted, like cat, puppy, cup car, tree, or baby. So hopefully that's a basic understanding of sortals. Now we're going to take a quick look at the difference between a phase and a substance sortal. So sortals are sometimes divided into different groups. Phase sortals apply only to a particular time frame of an object. A phase sortal ceases to apply without the object ceasing to exist. So examples might include puppy, or baby, since the dog or the human doesn't cease to exist even though they cannot still be counted as a puppy or a baby. Phase sortals are similar to restrictive sortals, part of which may stop applying to an object such as blue door or shiny spoon, since the blue or the shiny part could cease to apply without the door or the spoon ceasing to exist. Substance sortals, on the other hand, are much more closely tied to the identity of the object. If something stops being a dog, then it ceases to exist. If a door stops being a door and is instead a pile of ash, the door ceases to exist. In a way that the puppy that got older didn't cease to exist. 
Do you think a term like animal or dwelling is sufficiently specific to be a sortal? What about phase sortals? Do you think that really when we're going from something being a door to a pile of ash, does that really, is that just a natural part of that object's life? in the same way that something going from being a puppy to being a dog would be? Or is there some inherent distinction that can be made there? Write your answers in the comments below. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.